maybe we should fix this. Welcome back everyone. So as you just saw, it's a struggle to get my axe and shovel out of this Jeep. It always has been for Helen and I. As we go along in our trips, stuff always gets piled on top of the axe and shovel and I really think it's an important part of everyone's kit and I think it needs to be all accessed quickly and easily, especially if you have something like a muddy shovel, you really don't want to be putting that inside on your gear. So this time what we're going to do is we're going to take a Garmin Industries mount and mount the axe and shovel up on the roof where it should be, where it's easy to access. Let's take a look at what this thing is. Okay, so we're not going to do an unboxing on this thing because, let's face it, unboxings are boring. But what you need to know is that this stuff is really high quality, it appears. The paint is nice. Um, all the pieces look like they're quarter inch steel. And I don't yet know how hard it is to get like the axe and shovel off of each uh, mount. So that's what we're going to do. First, let's get this mounted on the Jeep and then we'll figure out, uh, I don't know, we'll figure out how easy it is to use. I think that's going to be key. I definitely think it's durable enough though to mount an axe and shovel to the outside. So uh, let's do that. So on these mounts, you have to put a carriage bolt. It comes with this carriage bolt that you put through here. Uh, you have these plastic washers or spacers uh, that go there too. And then once you have that done, you throw this mount here like this. We're gonna place ours about here. We're gonna try that for now. They have this flat bar that goes here. Then we put the washers. And then we put our nuts on. And the nice thing about all this stuff is it's all painted pretty well. Um, and these nuts are locking nuts, so you don't have to run thread locker, uh, which is not necessarily a bad thing to run thread locker, but it's just nice that they thought about, uh, they thought out the kit. Cool, so we'll get this all snug down and bolted down, and then we'll go to the next step. All right, so the next step in the process is we gotta put bolts on all of these, our nuts I mean, and I'm assuming that's to keep these straight so you don't have to uh, mess with floppy things like that. So let's go ahead and get all these on here. Okay, so next step is we get the axe right there. And we get That's not good. Well, that sucks that I lost that. It just went down a drain that's down there. But let's go to the hardware store and get another one. Okay, one problem I can see with this mount while we're doing this is uh, you might have to like spend hours taking all this apart. I don't know yet. I hope not because this could be a pain doing this every time. Unless you can just like loosen the mount and slip the axe out, that would be okay. But if it's like it's like you gotta undo this contraption every time, then that would be a royal pain. But it does seem to hold like awkward shapes decently, so that's good. All right. Well, I will say one thing though. It's very, you don't have to get the, uh, the wing nuts here very tight for this to be strong. So that is nice, that is not going anywhere. All right, let's do the shovel. We're not gonna be able to put one of these wing nuts on, so we'll just do the shovel to see what it looks like. And I'm gonna have to go get another one since I dropped that down a drain down there. Okay, so this is the shovel that I choose to use. Um, now, one problem that I do see is that if you did not have this handle on the end, you could actually just slip the accent shovel out. But because I have this, you'd have to undo this, like, basically all the way to slip this through. So I might be switching shovels. Um, just, you know, Words of advice, if you're getting this mount, get something with a straight end instead of a handle on the end. You'll see, uh, you'll see at least how it mounts. Like I said, you know, I dropped one of those bolts, so may I have something extra with me we can use to mount, but we're gonna have to go get an extra wing nut from the hardware store. Okay, so my box of parts here, I actually found a uh, 
nut that works. And this is not permanent, but this will just work so that we can uh, at least get it together and see what it looks like and see how we like it. Get it all clamped down there. All right, so I think it's all installed. So let's take another look at it and see what we think. Okay, so here's a close up of everything mounted. Um, it's actually pretty nice. It doesn't stick off as far as the Jeep as I thought. You know, I, that's probably a good six inches away from the roof line. That's not too bad. Um, I like that it uses the wing nuts, so it's tools free, unless you lose one like I did over there. Um, you do not have to take the whole thing apart to get each piece off, though you do have to take the shovel out in order to get to the axe behind it. Uh, that is the one downside with this mount. Um, the other thing is, in order to lock this up, there is no way to do it. I can only think of drilling a hole through here and then maybe put like a rope lock through. Um, that's the only thing I can think of, like a cable or something. But uh, yeah, the mount is really high quality. Everything is really thick. Uh, everything is stainless steel and painted, which is nice. Uh, it seems like it's powder coated more than paint, which is even better in my opinion. Um, but yeah, so we'll see how this thing does in the long term though. But short term, I really like it so far. Okay guys, so that's it for the install of the Garvin Industries uh, axe and shovel mount. So far, I really like it. That's my first impression. Um, I don't like that you can't lock it. That's really about the only thing, but uh, I can get around that. Anyway, if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like what's going on with the channel, hit subscribe down below. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.